Well, you can tell it's fall because my hair is on a whole new schedule. But I won't bore with that today. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all be this Thursday? If you're watching the replay, go ahead and say hashtag replay. And I just love your comments. So comment. You can say hi. You can say hey. You can say where you're tuning in from. You can say something. All right. This morning, I found it very interesting. Yesterday morning and this morning, I was in the two different passages where kingdoms clash against kingdoms, right? We talked about that a few weeks ago. And, you know, it's so funny because today isn't even on my radar for what today is in the world. Um, got plenty of other things going on, right? We got wrapping up things for doTERRA with end of month. We got brand new holiday items launching tomorrow. We have 20 satellite campuses that I have to launch because they're rocking and rolling as of January. So there's just a lot going on. But this is, again, what I'm reminded of. You and I get to choose this day. We get to choose this day. You see, the spiritual atmospheres are heightened. We become aware of this more so in October, specifically on October 31st. But dare I say that may we take this awareness, may we take this heightened spiritual clashing and take it not only throughout our day, take it not all throughout all of November and December, but continue to be aware. See, because kingdoms are going to clash against kingdoms because God has an agenda and he wants to partner with you and I so that this earth can experience his goodness, his power, his authority, and the other camp wants to make sure that fear is felt, that havoc is wreaked. And so let's just talk about, I mean, this goes way back to the fact that the devil doggone hijacked an incredible day. So Martin Luther, not King Jr., okay, but Martin Luther, I believe the year was 1517, I put it in my stories, He only had a half a Bible verse, but he got so much revelation on a half a Bible verse that he, without knowing it, turned the world right side up with a half a Bible verse. And so today is actually Reformation Day. The devil hijacked it and turned it into a demon day, but we don't have to let that be the case. And so what am I saying today? What I'm saying today is not only be aware of the day, but don't forget about it tomorrow. Allow for the heightened of spiritual activity. And yes, that goes both ways. The bad has its own agenda. The evil wants to run rampant. And it is. But again, we talked about yesterday, the church is rising up, right? And so today, let it be a day that you walk through so conscious of the kingdoms clashing against kingdoms, of the spiritual atmosphere and dynamics. And may you constantly pray in the spirit. May you go to the word. And even if it's just half a verse, may you meditate on it. May you chew on it. Friends, when you get that so deep into you, you can't help but live in a different realm, in a different sphere. The kingdoms may be clashing against kingdoms, but friends, you and I are on the winning side. Victory is already his, so we might as well walk victorious. But not only do we sense the clashing of the kingdoms on this day, I'm aware that you're probably sensing the clashing of the kingdoms. Yes, in America, but America, so goes America, so goes the world. As America goes, so goes the world. And so you better believe there is an intense spiritual battle happening right now on the brink of a historical election. You better believe that the enemy has an agenda that the fraud of the age who only copies and only steals, only kills and only destroys. He has an agenda. But how many of you actually want to bind, bind any fraud in Jesus name? How many of you want to bind anything that is not of accuracy 
in Jesus' name. How many of you want to bind what is being tampered with in Jesus' name? Because here's the thing. You and I are going to, please, I beg you. (laughs) You and I are going to do our duty and vote our vote. Okay? Yes, your one matters. All right? But after we have done our human thing, after we have done our natural thing, you and I are going to war. We are going to war in the heavenlies because this is a spiritual battle and the battle is going to be won. Hear me. The battle is going to be won supernaturally. The battle is going to be won by prayer and fasting. The battle is going to be won by bringing down strongholds and binding the agenda of the enemy. Friends, it is ours to sit back and give or it is ours to war and to take. Hear me. Hear me. Go ahead. And here's here's what I want to say too. Ooh, I will end with this. He says that in the end days, may we be awake. May we be awake. He says, do not fall asleep. Now, is he asking you not to sleep and rest? No. He is asking that his people would say every day, God, give me eyes that see. Give me discernment that shows me what is really going on. Because no matter how I feel, what you say is true. And no matter what the enemy has planned, I know who to align myself and partner with to watch your kingdom come right here on earth. So you better believe I'm going to vote for life. You better believe I'm going to vote for a biblical worldview. And again, oh my goodness, I heard this on Monday. I might get in trouble saying this. And I don't remember who the speaker was, but he said, Jesus may not be on the ballot, but Jezebel is. So y'all better vote in the natural. But once you cast that vote, You better pray in the spiritual. You better pray in your prayer language. You better war and battle. And by the way, arm up. Because the end times are the most exciting times. You and I get to be a part of, oh my goodness. I looked at my good friend on Monday and I said, girl, what a time to be alive. And she said, what a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. So friends, listen. The spiritual realm is tumultuous, but there is nothing to fear in that. It is that you and I stay awake, oh so awake and aware, that we say, God, show me absolutely what is going on. Give me discernment in these days so that I can partner with heaven and bring it down. You do know that he gave you and I dominion on this earth, but we gave it to the devil. How? With our words with our complacency, with our our comfort and our distractions, not this day. Why don't you go ahead and this day say, you know what? I repent. I repent if I've been distracted. I repent if I, my words have partnered me with any sort of side other than yours. King Jesus, have your way. I partner with you this day. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done right now here on this earth, right here in my city, right here in my county, right here in my nation, that this nation would be a beacon of light set on a hill. Oh my goodness, final thought. The name of Yahweh is my strong tower. Why? Because when I am on a strong tower, I can see more. The name of Yahweh is my hiding place. Why? Because when you need to be protected every day, he is your hiding place. He is your security. The name of Yahweh goes before me. You see, he is not thrown off. He is not tossed to and fro. He has gone before me. He knows and he will lead me and guide me. The name of Yahweh comes behind me. Friends, the enemy will stab you in the back and he'll use people to do it. I promise you, your neighbor who is voting differently than you is not your enemy. They just don't know better. They just have fallen under deception. Okay? The enemy is the arch enemy of the one true living God and his minions. That's it. 
You and I do not wrestle with flesh and blood. No, ma'am. No, sir. I ain't mad at him because he doesn't know better. I ain't mad at her because she's been deceived. Here is my prayer that my eyes would be open, that I would be awake, and that I would be somebody who speaks clearly, leads boldly, and that I would pray for the awakening of this nation so that the scales may fall from every eye and that we may call out the enemy for who he is. But you know what? I'm tired of giving him time. I'm focusing on the one true living God who can cause a change in an instant, who absolutely has not only had victory, but can give you victory this day. So in the natural, we will do our job. And in the spiritual, we will war. Who is with me.